could you survive a year if you were shrunken down to the size of a peanut? Why do you think you could survive a year? I would be small and precious. Yeah, but also you're simultaneously a uh, gulping size. A baby could just crawl up and swallow you whole. There are too many cats and dogs to eat you. I stay in my cage. My family loves me in my cage. They feed me and cuddle me. You're going to live in a cage? Cage is EW. Theoretically, your ears be more sensitive because of your small size. And if your Get ears your are exposed to a large amount of noise like someone talking, then your ears would die from your eardrums blowing up. <laughs> Hamster ball. Did Hamster ball change anybody's? <laughs> Good point. My friend Wednesday made this courtroom game to let me debate my viewers. I ask a hypothetical question and then my viewers pick a side. Then a random viewer is chosen from each Hello. side to battle it out in a game of wits. My opposition's head is small. Okay, chill. Objection. If they make good points, they can actively affect the poll. But if they make bad points, then by the power vested in me, I have every right to throw this little hammer at their head. And in their place, a new member from their team spawns. The court case goes on until we reach a fair and unanimous decision. Or until I decide that I'm right and stop listening to what the jury thinks. But hey, this is court. Nobody said it was gonna be fair. There is no God here, says one random person in this jury. And listen, I know I'm gonna get some comments about this, so I'll just address it up front. Apparently this isn't a judge wig. This is like a founding father wig. I bought the wrong thing. His grandma is super cute too. Dude, this is not a granny wig. I am a member of the law. And you're gonna re respect that around here, okay? When I bought this costume, I'm so upset. This is the most plastic hammer that I could have gotten, dude. You could Wikipedia search the word plastic and this will probably be on there. Uh, this thing won't even bang well. This was live streamed, so if you like the videos, come check out the streams. Could you survive a year if you were shrugging down to the side of, of a peanut? Yes, no. Guys, begin voting. Welcome, Kitty855 to the courthouse. And Light Pink Heart, welcome. Welcome. We've got a couple beautiful members of Team Yes and Team No. So, let's start this debate off by looking at the split we've got going here. We have the majority of people thinking that they could not survive a year if they were shrunken down to the size of a peanut. There are too many cats and dogs to eat you, and tiny poops are stinky. I mean, I... Taser. A tiny taser. I will point out that uh, a tiny taser would probably feel like static electricity shock. Small gun. Small gun. Again, um, first of all, how the hell are you going to get a small gun? This isn't a magical universe where you can just pull a small gun out of nowhere. You're going to have to fabricate this thing somehow. All over the house because you can't use the toilet. Another good point. How do you expect to use the bathroom, Light Pink Heart? What are you going to do to prevent the tiny little poops from... Maybe, okay, guys, maybe, I will say maybe we should not start with poop talk right off the bat. In the corner, nobody would notice it's okay. You're right, they would be, if you're the size of a peanut, I could envision your poops probably being the size of... How do you open the half fridge? A peanut? Quarter of a peanut? Another good question. Say you, um, are hungry. What do you do about food? I eat floor crumbs. You can't order pizza either. Tiny pizza. Predatory roaches would eat you and the floor crumbs. Not a bad point. No roaches where I live. Where do you goddamn live, the moon? I want that member of the jury deleted. I stay in my cage. My family loves me in my cage. They feed me and cuddle me. I think if you are in a loving household, you might be able to get away with this. The cage method. Have a little water feeder. Have a little food feeder where they bring you RB sandwiches blended up into little peanut bite-sized pieces. But I do think if you're a person who is not um, privileged enough to have a family or a little hamster cage, I think you might be out of luck. Light Pink Heart and Kitty, thank you guys for your input. I'm going to send you How on your way. How households are loving? That's a good point, and we will discuss with our next uh, couple victims. I mean, I said victims, guys. I meant hostages. I'm sorry. Kitty, thank you. <coughs> and uh, Light Pink Heart, let's uh, send you on your way as well. Let's get back up to the stand. All right. Pesky Sky and Twist Fin, welcome to court. Thank you for being here. Another couple members of okay. Team Yes and Team No. The split is still pretty, pretty uh, even. And keep in mind, you can switch sides if you do feel so inclined. So first things first, I'd wear an acorn helmet. That's adorable. Thank you for your input. I do think that would help with some things, but other things not so much, such as a Doberman or anything that's really bigger than like a like a shoe. 
I think you might be f***ed up. I think you might be ripped to little pieces of shreds. I'm just here for the pizza. Can we get, can we get a little bag, little doggy box or whatever they're called for his pizza? You can have this piece and uh, be on your way. All right, a romantic scuttlebug. Welcome to Team No. You're on very thin ice here. Whose side are you on? I can eject you straight out of this courtroom into the sun. How would you convince me that you could not survive being the size of a peanut? Your honor, think of the ants. This is true. We could talk at length about the different predators and monsters that may exist out there to, the, to a little peanut-sized person. Husky Sky, what, what do you say you do? You run if into 14 ants. If they find you, they will kill you. One ant to the size of a peanut is going to be astronomically more bigger for a peanut guy. We aren't all born into big protective families, but we can make friends to help us along the way. Okay, Pesky Sky, I like the point you brought up, but I do think, how are you going to protect somebody or protect yourself from somebody just deciding to throw you in a trash can? Not every, this rule, world is cruel. Spiders and dogs can already kill me when I'm normal sized. Another good point. You would get lost very easily. My phone. No GPS. Sad face. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What? Listen, you have... you. How are you going to access your phone, pesky sky? Say you want to go to a new place. First of all, you have to pack... You, a massive pilgrimage is in store. The size of a peanut, it's going to take you... Freaking two years to go a mile. Could we get someone to do the math on that? Paper plane. Oh, don't be ridiculous. This is not a Scooby-Doo movie. We're talking in actualities here. What would happen if you decide to have peanut? You're not gonna be able to fly in a paper plane. I don't need a phone. I'm pretty crafty. Okay. I will say, as far as the tech tree, you're going to be going back to around probably the early 90s. You won't be able to access technology that much. AJ40042. You know your name. I don't have go, to. Go, go, go. I don't have to repeat myself to you. Why do you not think you would be able to survive a year shrunken down to the size of a peanut? Theoretically, your ears be more sensitive because of your small size, and if your Hit ears your are ball. exposed to a large amount of noise like someone talking, then your ears would die from your eardrums blowing up. Hmm. AJ, now that's an interesting question, or an interesting point, but, I mean, don't ants hear things? I posted a whole paragraph. I, yes, you did. Hamster ball. Did hamster ball change anybody? <laughs> Good point. I will say, I mean, and AJ, you can no. switch sides at, at any point if you want to. If that has changed your mind, you know, you could just switch. Hamster ball changed my mind. All right. Glad, glad you could have some sense talked into you. Thank you for participating. Ah. Uh. Your Honor, there has been a peanut person in the courtroom this whole time. What? Maybe we should ask the little little guy himself. Alive. Where is he? Hmm. Hello. Um, I think they might have left. I like scraping the bottom of my boot on the carpet. <laughs> I think they're gone. Five, two, six. Why would you not be able to survive being the size of a peanut? You are underestimating the threat of arachnids over the course of a year. All it takes is one bro and you are eaten. That is true, but at the same time, what if I, I could- The ball defense is unwavering. The hamster ball defense is, you know what? Okay, yeah. What you just walk around on a hamster ball if you're going somewhere dangerous. Hamster ball. And I feel like personally, you see a spider, that's gonna be pretty obvious, dude. Also, you guys, um, don't call me your honor. Call me your highness, please. This is a courtroom for Christ's sake. This isn't a damn they castle. They are fast. They are fast. I your think honor. being a tiny little yes. What? No, what did I just say? Um, I think being a tiny little dude, I'm gonna craft a tiny little toothpick spear. I'll use my spider whispering technique. 
another great point. We will just we will just speak to the spiders and convince them not to eat us. All right, I'm gonna get new people on the stand. Thank you guys both for participating. I'm still waiting to hear a good point from Team No. Why, Battery Head, why could you not survive one year as the size of a peanut? Otherwise, this case is closed, I think. Water! Water. <laughs> what? What? First of all, are you talking about drinking? Yes, drinking water. I'm gonna introduce you guys to a crazy concept right here in this courtroom, and it's called the sink, or the toilet, or the rain. Humans can't survive living that small bug shore, but not us. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put you on probation for two months, oh. and you're gonna learn to, to throw some commas in your sentences. All right, guys, I'm putting this court, this, uh, putting this one to a rest, and we're gonna move on to the next one. The jury seems to believe that you would not be able to survive a year as a little dude. However, I am the goddamn judge, and I'm the smartest person in this room, and also the one with the most uh, wig on. Oh, no. So therefore, I will say, could you survive a year as a tiny little peanut-sized person? Yes. Rigged? Hey, tell it to the judge. Oh wait. Sorry. All right, we got. We got. The mask goblin media is controlling him. Don't listen to him. Hey! <laughs> Don't talk about that. I told you guys. Serious talk. Bringing up goblins in this chat room. My buddy Dale got eaten alive by a goblin. Skin and bone and everything. Either that or he got lost. Not sure what really happened. I just I assumed it was a goblin. All right, let's get this next question go going, guys. Um, in voting. Let's do one that's uh something that's gonna be probably pretty universally accepted. I will ask you, could you swallow a golf ball? Guys, I really feel like I know how this one's already gonna go. Yes, but only once. I, d I wanna clarify, I'm, I mean swallow a golf ball and live and survive. And also guys, I don't know what is in the middle of a golf ball, what's in that core. There could be battery acid, for all we know. So many of you are saying you could. Man, there's just no way I could do it. That's what I'm saying, Kale Basil. Thank you for your input. The Ticklish Warrior. I'll unhinge my jaw. I do not listen as much as a horrifying thought that is. I don't think the jaw part is actually the, the most difficult part. Because this right here is your throat. And it is also, about the size. The center is definitely toxic. The center is toxic. Be. That's that's another. We would have to probably I don't know scientifically get some nerds to break it open and see what and it's just for. Just suck it down, no problem. Okay, but I don't think you're fully accounting for the fact that that people choke. How many people choke a year on on steak pieces or, or like little anything? Used golf ball or not? I. No, it, guys, it would just be a brand new golf ball. You wouldn't have to worry about germs or anything like that. You could even pick the Fine. brand. I'll suck on it like a gob's topper. You cannot, by the way. You have to new golf ball, new golf ball. Y you can buy any type you want, whatever brand you want, whatever. Some of them have different little rolling, I don't know, bumps on them. But it's got to be a regulation golf ball, and you have to put it in your mouth, swallow it. It won't melt. That's what. Yeah, exactly. Ticklish warrior. No, you I have to swallow it in one. I already have tummy hurt. Too much disease. I would perish. Kale, I I'm on your side. So there's nothing personal in my actions that I'm about to do here. Um. So team, yes. You I think? Built it. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. Who made this game, by the way? Wednesday. Why do you think you could swallow a golf ball? That is ridiculous. I would simply swallow that vomit. I really think the, the majority of the uh, issue would come from getting it down your throat. I firmly grasp throat and squeeze. Yeah, you know, that is true. If, you know, you put it here and you start working it down, you could probably like... 
like work it all no because then you get to that sternum and that's where the real issue arises i think what would happen is wednesday you would start this golf ball down the, the treacherous journey to your belly and you would you would suffocate and die in my courtroom if i made you do this to this to today hey Batera? what are you thinking about so hard over there i can swallow oh, a shoot What's wrong? If they've done it before, why do you think I can only whisper now? I would choke. That's what I'm saying. Listen, th listen, th the reason this argument is so simple is because, guys, the people who say no, the reasoning is very simple. You would choke and you would die. Wednesday, thank you for making Goodbye, this my friend. game. But you just don't know what you're talking about. I gotta, I gotta see some more people's opinions. Sword swallowing is a thing. Sword swallowing is a thing. Now I will give you a little, uh, a little bit of information about sword swallowing. When people are swallowing a sword, there is a handle that if they start choking, they can pull it right back out. And also, the width of a sword is about like that. I've been to Renaissance fairs before. Um, it's about like that, but it is very thin. So, while your argument at face value might seem like it makes a little bit of sense, I think you've just made a fool of yourself in my courtroom. And I'm gonna probably throw my hammer at you in the next four or five seconds. I don't even need to make a case. Charboard oh. is doing it for me. Ow. Bias judge. Okay, let's hear from, from Team Yes for a little bit. Just talk in chat. Let's hear from the jury. Guys, how do you think you would not choke? More people saying yes, you're ridiculous. You're doing this to- you're making a fool of me. You're trying to get me to look stupid in this courtroom. I will not ha Guys, I've been drinking a lot of these sparkling waters. And I want to apologize that you had to see that today in this courtroom. High five, AJ. Why would you be able to swallow a golf ball? That does not make sense. Few I people. Would crush my throat first. Even if it was somehow swallowed, it would get caught in your intestines, and you will die or need surgery. <laughs> Look how panicked she sounds, dude. Even if you, even if you were to swallow it, I'm on your side. Well, you know, I think it would dissolve a little bit. I think if it was in stomach acid, it would dissolve. But you do bring up a good point. You could probably crush your throat up and make it, I don't know, expand a little bit more, but then you have, you were gonna do severe damage to your insides. Guys, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna pull up an evidence board. How big is a throat? throat? No, you're being ridiculous. How big is a throat? One minute. The hollow tube inside the neck that starts behind the nose and ends up in the top of the trachea, windpipe, for those of you who don't know what that means, um, and esophagus. The throat is about five inches long. Not the... Not the length of a throat. The size of a throat. How big around is a throat? <sighs> throat diameter? Surely there's been a scientist out there. Width of a throat? Assuming normative range that encompasses three standard deviations from mean or 99.7% of the normal population, which by the way guys, 99.7% of the population, not 40%, not 60%. The circumference is two to three centimeters according to Google. That's what I'm discovering in this courtroom. In men aged 20 to 79, 25 millimeters. And in women age, doesn't say an age, well, we'll just assume a bunch of them, a bunch of ages, 21 millimeters. Now let's do a quick millimeter to inches, because I'm you American. Force it down with As you can tell by that beautiful flag flying right behind me. Um, that is 0.8 of an inch, guys. And let's see, uh, golf ball diameter. 1.68 
inches. I rest my case. You can force it down with a stick. You are a fool. And get the hell out of my courtroom. Now I'm going to see really quick. I'm going to ask you one more time. I'm going to ask you once more. Could you swallow a golf ball? Look at me. Could you swallow a golf ball? Exclamation yes or exclamation no. Guys, I will. I want to show you something that just made me very mad. Not stretchy enough for a golf ball. Rebecca can swallow a golf ball. Rebecca is the only person in the world who can swallow a golf ball. This is a callback to uh, the Choo Choo Charles stream where we found out, guys, that Rebecca can apparently remember life and the uh, Rebecca remembers what it looks like to be in the womb, apparently, and she drew a picture of it. Rebecca can remember life in the womb. Rebecca is the only person in the world. <laughs> oh, it's oh, guys, it's reputable. It's from MamaMia.com. Rebecca probably doesn't remember what she ate for breakfast. She makes it up. <laughs> oh my f lord, this is gonna be- This is gonna be a joke, dude. This is gonna be a parody. Rebecca drew this picture from memory. It's what she can recall from inside the womb. <laughs> oh my god, this is proof. She has a night vision. <laughs> Yeah, Rebecca, what are you talking about? Rebecca, did, did they f give you a flashlight? How did you see shit in the womb? Uh, oh my god, Rebecca, your, your story's falling apart. She knows every single word of Harry Potter by heart. Give her a chapter and she'll start reciting. Oh my god, I bet she's Ravenclaw. She casted Lumos in the womb? Maybe that's how, Maybe, maybe that's how she was seeing. Guys, you yesers, I think you're just, you know, you're not fit to be, um... You're not giving an honest answer. I didn't make them swear to the to the goddamn Bible. We respect the Bible in this courtroom. Do they do they actually do that? <laughs> Maybe we've got 369 atheists in this courtroom. Guys, there's also a, I will say a cross somewhere in here. So if you don't want to be burned alive by being in close proximity of a cross, you satanist, I would leave. I rest my case. I don't remember if I've done that before yet. But if I have, then I've just rested it twice. And may that be a lesson to all those people who think that you could swallow a golf ball in the boat. Thank you, your highness, for having me. Thank you. And thank you for being a voice of reason in this, this, this hellhole of a courtroom we've got going here. Could you beat 1,000 toddlers trying their hardest to kill you. Exclamation yes, exclamation no. Guys, let your voices be heard. Lots of yeses. And I'm gonna try to play this one a little bit more fair, okay? I'm gonna try to hear you out and understand why you think yes without letting any of my preconceived biases get in the way. How old? Um, how old is a toddler? Three? Eight? Is there a reward? No, it's just a, it's, you're put in this impossible situation. You're going to have to try to live. All right, we've got the real wild, the real wild dill, and we've got stylish Do monkey. Do you have a weapon? No. Here's the thing. You're going to have to incapacitate 1,000. Chat said 1,000, not one. Exactly. And I think you guys are not taking into account how many a thousand is. All right. I'm going to ask you. Hello, your highness. Hello, stylish monkey. You're lowless. I was gonna use a machine gun. Okay, no guys, there's no weapons involved here. Glad to be here. I'm glad to have you. Something to take into consideration here, guys. Can I use one as a weapon? Yes, you could, actually. I would say that. I would say that's allowed. However, I want you to think about something. These toddlers are trying their hardest to kill you, first of all. Second of all, you have to have the strength to incapacitate 1,000 toddlers. Easy. I don't think so, because I wanted I wanted you to do a test here right now in, in your home. If you're watching at home, if you're watching in a uh, a bar, or watching maybe from your parents' house, wherever you may be, 
I want you to stop posting easy. This is not as easy as it sounds. I want you to, to imagine pushing a toddler over as hard as you can to make them not get back up. I won't get into specifics. We don't have to. You can imagine, you know what I'm talking about. I want you to imagine doing that 1,000 times without tiring. 1,000 times to a four-year-old, three to four-year-old. There are adults who can't handle being attacked by 10. And that's a good point, a very good point. Guys, you have these toddlers, let's say they're in a football field, stadium, gymnasium. You can't climb, you can't, you can't hop out of the damn field. You can't climb up and start throwing Mario turtle shells at them or something. You're, you're gonna have to stay in this arena. One of them, I'm telling you right now, one of these toddlers bites you with their little buck teeth. They bite you. It'll just tell them Santa's not real. I think that you would even make them more mad, Tip, if I had to be quite honest with you. I think you might send them into a fit of rage if you did that. Toddlers don't have teeth? I'm sure there's a couple. I'm sure we could find a few toddlers that had teeth. All right, I'm gonna bring a couple more up here. You know what, I gotta stop wasting hammers, guys. Um, I think I only packed about 78 today, uh, so we're gonna have to go the old-fashioned way. Salish Monkey, thank you for being here. Oh! Real wildin'. Appreciate you making the flight. Bye. They're from, uh, Timbuktu. Bread balanced after dark. Why do you think that you could beat 1,000 toddlers in one sitting without tiring? Are you some superhuman? Are you maybe part machine? Or are you just maybe overconfident? I can outrun toddlers. For how long? This isn't some threat you can run away from, my friend. You're locked in a room, big enough for a thousand toddlers and you to have a, a nice brawl. They have long enough. and germs and bacteria. Exactly. And you know what? One of those toddlers bites a hold of you. First of all, may God rest your Take beautiful one soul. one by one. Uh, but a thousand? You've got a thousand of these little critters running at you with intent to kill. They're not going to be in single file line. These toddlers, this is going to be, guys, picture a horde of toddlers. I have more intent to kill. I think just simply the number alone would, oh, we're not talking a hundred here, guys. We're talking a hundred times. We're talking about a thousand toddlers here. It's like piranhas, but worse. Simple math. Like piranhas, but worse. Yeah, imagine a piranha, except it is able to hobble and also sort of understand human language. 100 at one time. 100 at a time, they my friend, you're not. Apart. They'll exactly. They need naps, okay? And that, that is a good point, said somebody in the chat. They need naps. I guarantee you could knock a couple How upside big the are head. Toddlers? How big are the toddlers? Um, that's a very good point. I would say probably toddler size. Um, but we're not dealing in, uh, like, fiction here. It would probably be normal sized toddlers. So about five foot. All right, I'm gonna bring a couple more onto the stand. We'll discuss it from some new viewpoints. <laughs> We've got Metal M and Grumpy Old Kerr both standing exactly the same. Maybe, maybe they're maybe they're weird. Don't know why they're standing like that. Of course, you couldn't stop 1,000 toddlers. Thank you. I mean, okay, I'm gonna be unbiased here. <laughs> Grumpy Old Kerr. The secret is to get them to turn on each other. I will direct your attention back to the question at the back of the room there. Um, they're trying their hardest to kill you. I don't think we're gonna allow any sort of make-believe in this, in this guys. I don't think you can convince these guys of much of anything. How would you not tire going on your 45th toddler? I want you to really think about it. Really think about this. You are incapacitating 1,000 toddlers. Okay, team no. Team no being people who think they could not beat a thousand toddlers. I want you, I'm gonna bring someone up here. I want you to convince the jury here that they could not beat 1,000 toddlers, all right? We're gonna need some hard hitting evidence or um, sort of new mindsets. Bushbuster? Yes. Okay. Toddlers have incredibly sharp nails. I'd die a death of a thousand cuts. 
That is true. Guys, um, Bush Buster brings a good point. And th that's why they put little gloves on babies. I don't know if you've ever seen that, because babies will gouge their own eyeballs out trying to have develop, trying to develop reflexes. They will gouge their eyes out. All right, I'm gonna get into yes, lawyer up here. Uh. Beanie on Twitch, convince me. Dude, I'm so swoosh with this. Call me Saul Best Man. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I don't have no clue what that means. And he did a dance about it too. I really feel like that could have should have convinced me if I knew what that meant. I'm embarrassed for you. Did he make a good point? Dude, I'm so swoosh with this. Call me Saul Best Man. I don't know what that... Why are you... I don't know... charisma is beyond human comprehension. I win. <laughs> okay, but the toddlers are trying to kill you. Are you trying to, are you trying to make a fool of me in this courtroom? Because I won't have it. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I started thinking about a... Uh, started thinking about like a dead possum and it maybe said the sad. toddlers are meekin are you okay bestie i'm fine this guys this man has toddler brain guys you can't team up against the judge okay guys does your opinion Don't change could you beat 1000 toddlers in an arena with nothing except an yes, ipad and six right things of applesauce arena the size of a football field you can't climb anything you can't you have no weapons you're going to tire could you do it exclamation yes or no ma'am 20% of Americans think they can beat a bear in a fight. That's what I'm saying, guys. You know what? Okay, here. Let, let's do a little let's do a little test. We're going to we're going to reset something here for a second just to see what kind of jury we're dealing with here cuz I, I I think we might not all be on the uh, realm of possibility together. Could you beat a bear in a fight? with no weapons to the death. One of you has to die. Whoa. 20% of Americans think they could beat a bear in a fist fight. What? 50 times 5,100, 150, 200, 250. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Bah, that's 20. Guys, you couldn't beat a bear in a fist fight. Are you insane? You know, there's one that you're supposed to, there's one bear that you're supposed to just like climb a tree or play dead or something. And there's one bear that you're supposed to just say your prayers. Okay, let's amend this. Exclamation, yes or no. Could you beat a polar bear in a fight to the death? Yes or no? Wow, there's still so many yeses. How are they getting more yeses? You're insane. You're gonna be a mist in the snow, my friend. My my 95 friends who are just so have such poor judgment. So what the bear talk has told me though is that the majority of people they're they're answering truthfully. I mean, the the statistic was that 20% of people think that they could fight a bear, and th what where would it be shown right here? Ah! Oh, they changed. <laughs> they changed their mind. They were a yes, and they changed to no. Thank you for being honest with yourself. Share a Coke. Oh my god, you're right. Guys. Simple. That is, okay. That is so true. Could you beat a polar bear in a fight if you had a Coca-Cola? Exclamation yes or no. That's so much more, I understand. I understand. Because polar bears are the Coke mascot and they love Coke. You give them one Coke, they're gonna be on their ass. They're gonna drink it get all tired and have to take a little cat nap um nope that was a hypothetical de like debate that one didn't even count that was just a joke one so i'm not even ruling anything here i just like to hit the hammer and guys i still am just so sad i got the plastic hammer this thing's got a seam on it this thing does not look i should show you the amazon order i swear when i bought this thing this looked like wood they scammed me i think it was probably wood